You may have seen the two videos I did earlier this year reviewing the Dell XPS 13 and the HP EliteBook 1020. And while I liked several things about both laptops, the one that I like the best is the HP EliteBook 1020. And many of the reasons I like it have nothing to do with the hardware inside. And I'm gonna show you why in this video. One of the things I like about the 1020 EliteBook is it's very easy to open one-handed. So when I've got extra stuff in my left hand, I can open the laptop with my right and then power it up and look something up on my laptop without having to set everything down. With this Dell XPS, well, I would love to be able to have it open. It just doesn't want to open with one hand. I type between 10 and 20,000 words on a daily basis, and so the keyboard on a laptop is very important to me. And while both of these have the essential backlit keys, the Dell keyboard feels a little squishy to me as I type, and I don't feel like I can type as fast. The keys on the EliteBook 1020 are almost as good as having a desktop keyboard on your laptop going with you everywhere. Both of these laptops have an SD card slot in them. The HP has a micro SD slot, while the Dell has a full size. And the thing that I don't like about the Dell is that the card reader actually has to stick out the side instead of going all the way inside. So if I'm carrying the laptop around, I might bump that into something or have it fall out and get lost. The 1020 has great security features. SureStart checks the BIOS on every boot. If a compromise is found, SureStart automatically repairs the BIOS. It also passed 12 military standard durability tests for everything from dust to drops to high temperatures. Combined with the ultra slim docking station, the EliteBook 1020 is just as powerful at your desktop as it is on the go. Just set it down and authenticate with a fingerprint and you're ready to work in a matter of seconds. In contrast, the Dell XPS has no enterprise docking solution. The fingerprint reader is very secure. It creates templates in protected non-volatile memory instead of storing an image of your fingerprint. And the fingerprint reader on the 1020 allows you to have the same password, your finger, on both your iPhone and your laptop. Dell chose a strange place to put the webcam on the XPS 13. It's down in the lower left corner so that I see a great shot of my knuckles on screen while I'm typing. The webcam on the EliteBook 1020 is placed in a more traditional center of the screen location so that you can make eye contact with the people you're talking to and your knuckles don't ever show up in the shot. Video isn't the only place that HP put some extra thought into the entire concept of video conferencing. There's active noise cancellation built in with a microphone array that does a really great job of even in a very echoey room like this one, keeping the overall noise down. And if you're in a noisy space, it keeps the, the microphone focused on you, the speaker. And as for speakers, the top mounted speaker on the HP is a much better listening experience if you don't happen to have headphones with you, as opposed to Dell pumps this, the sound out the sides over here and through the bottom, which is a very odd place to send the sound. And the microphone on here doesn't seem to cancel out any noise at all. One of the things I really dislike about the Dell XPS 13 is the fact that it has a fan that blows out the bottom. So you can see the vents all across the back and it gets hot on your legs, or in my case, I've got it resting on a pillow and then it can't breathe at all. The HP EliteBook 1020 has a fanless design, so there is no heat blowing out on my legs as I'm sitting here typing. And that makes it a lot better. I can put a pillow under it. It's not gonna choke out the laptop and it's also not gonna get hot the same way the Dell XPS does. Nothing's worse than walking into a meeting and realizing that you forgot the adapter so that you could connect to the projector. Dell gives you mini display port, which means an adapter will be required in every room. HP gives you HDMI, which is native for almost all displays these days. If you're trying to choose between the Dell XPS 13 and the HP EliteBook 1020, I think in my mind, the clear winner is the EliteBook 1020 because of all of the reasons I laid out in this video and more.